I'm Brandon, and uh, this is my robot for the term two exam. Um, basically, what it does is it spins around and it takes a distance of each point. It's 130 points, and it uh, uploads the uh, coordinates, and uh, you can plot the um, its environment with the coordinates. Uh, when it goes around the corners, the uh, points don't. Uh, it doesn't look so good. I'm not sure why right now, but... Um, okay. Well, I think that's just how the light reflects off of it. Okay, yeah, so I'll so give us a quick... So you're just scanning the room. Go ahead. Okay. And then um, this is the last... This well, well sh show me the raw data. No. I have to do it again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so here's all the x coordinates. Um, uh, the first one's zero because it starts at the origin. Uh huh. And then. And so, how are you calculating those? Uh, just I have it in polar coordinates because it's a distance, and uh, uh, you convert the each step to a uh, angle. So it's not entirely super accurate, but then you just use trig to get polar to rectangular. Okay, Cartesian. Yeah, Cartesian. cool. So you got x and y from the radius and the theta. Yeah. Awesome. And then you. Do, do what with that data? Uh, copied into Excel, and then here's the last produced graph. And here's one before it where it wasn't, uh, it's on an, on a tilt because it wasn't lined up perpendicular to the wall. So really what you're looking at, are these are the these are the four walls mm -hmm. here, and then you've got some, some corner. weird corner scatter. Yeah. But that is just beautiful. I love it. So you could, or, or, or the, is the axis in centimeters? Yeah. Look at you! So you can actually tell the dimensions of the room. Yeah, that's a, that's what I was, you know, gonna do. So you can send this robot into some dark room, have it scan, and yeah. come back and tell you the size of the room. That's the plan. Isn't that cool? That's great. Yeah, I think that's awesome. <laughs>